I talk a lot about blood sugar balance on my page and this is exactly right. So a high glycemic index food is going to be one that's more of like a fast acting carbohydrate, which basically means that when we eat a carbohydrate, it turns into something called glucose. Glucose then provides our body with energy. When glucose enters our bloodstream, it triggers our pancreas to release something called insulin. Insulin works as a little capturer to go get the glucose out of the bloodstream and then store it as glycogen to be used for energy. When we eat something like a gummy bear, for example, this is considered more of like a fast acting carbohydrate hydrate, which means that it's going to get into our bloodstream and be processed for energy very, very quickly. So if you're going to do something like a workout, or even if you're like intro workout, you want to eat something that's more of this like fast acting carbohydrate. This is also why I talk about when we eat more fast acting carbohydrates for meals and snacks to pair it with protein, fat, and fiber, because protein, fat, and fiber are slower to digest than a carbohydrate. So even if you eat something like a fast acting carbohydrate, if there's protein, fat, and fiber in your system, it's going to help to slow slow down the rate at which we absorb that glucose, which then in turn is going to essentially extend the energy that you're getting from the glucose a lot longer. So you're going to stay more full and satisfied. Something that's considered more of a low glycemic index carbohydrate would be something like a whole wheat bread. So things like whole wheat products, beans, legumes, fruits, vegetables, these contain extra fiber, which is going to help to slow down that digestion versus something that's more of this like fast acting carbohydrate. This is why I like to teach how to eat rather than how to diet, because I think when we're taught how to diet, we're taught that all carbohydrates are bad. But when in reality, what it comes down to is how the carbohydrates affect our blood sugar. Because if you were to just eat something that's a fast acting carbohydrate for a snack, you're likely going to go back for significantly more of that fast acting carbohydrate. Think of something like a goldfish, for example. It's really easy to eat a lot of goldfish in one sitting, and that's it's not because you don't have willpower. It's because the goldfish digest really, really quickly because it's a fast acting carbohydrate and there's no protein, fat, or fiber slowing it down. Now, if you take that goldfish and you pair it with something like a cheese stick and an apple, so you're adding some fat, a little bit of protein, a little bit of fiber coming from that apple, that's going to keep you way more full than just having the goldfish by itself. So you're still getting that craving that you were looking for of the goldfish, but you're adding to it in order to extend the energy that come from the goldfish. Why I always talk about it's way more important about what we add to our plate rather than what we should be taking away and we're restricting.